Hello and welcome to another episode of the Healthy Heart Show. I'm Dr. Jack Wolfson, board certified cardiologist, and this is the Healthy Heart Show. And I've got a special guest today because he's really, him and his wife, Denise, they've become friends of Dr. Heathers and myself. They're absolutely fantastic human beings, first and foremost. And when I met Klaus, this was actually at uh, Paleo Effects a couple years back, and they had a beautiful exhibit there. And Klaus kept telling me, he's like, come over and lay on the bed, come over and lay on the bed. And finally, I found the time to get over laying, you know, to lay on the bed, and we immediately uh, uh, purchased the bed. And of course, we represent uh, Samina out of our office as well. And we got a lot of clients that we've turned on to the uh, Samina mattress. So uh, Klaus, welcome to my show, The Healthy Heart Show. Yes, thank you. I'm honored to, uh, to touch base with you again, be on your podcast, and i um, looking forward to have this conversation. You know, it's, um, uh, you know, obviously, when, when it comes to typical modern medicine, right, we, we never think mm -hmm. about uh, anything except for pharmaceuticals, and we never think about anything except for doing surgeries. We never look at why people are sick. And I know you will agree with this, and you'll help me address this, is that why do doctors not understand that sleep may be the single most important thing when it comes to overall health? Why don't the doctors get that, but you, but you do? Yeah, it's a really interesting question. And of course, you know, Denise and I are wondering as well, including the owner of Samina, who is a professor and doctor himself. He's a psychologist. And uh, Dr. Günther Amann Jansen Jensen came up with Samina 30 years ago. This is quite a while now. We're really celebrating in 2019 now 30 years of Samina. And actually, five years prior to the starting point of Samina, he actually was a psychologist and he already had a very stunning uh, co commitment to say or fear finding. He said, when I talk to my patients doing consultations one-on-one -on -one about their health problems or psychologically problems or family problems, they had a common symptom. They had trouble sleeping. So actually, he was one of the few doctors I know they understood the connection between sleep and general health, including your physically health and psychologically health, right? Here in the United States and in Canada, you're right, not many doctors are on board and they're missing this very important fact that when you spend a third of life in bed, maybe this, the, the 25, say an average 25 years of sleep has a direct impact on your well-being and your health and maybe the sleeping surface, the, the, the product what is ab above us, uh, below us has something to do with, you know, how we how we feel the next morning waking up. I think one consumption is what we find out when talking to doctors, looks like in, when you become an MD and you learn the Western way to medicine that don't talk about a lot about sleep from the beginning. I understood this is in average four to eight hours. And maybe you, Jack, you will agree with me, the nutrition part is totally missed out as well. Yeah, most certainly, you know, and when it comes to sleep, the medical doctors like myself, we just prided ourselves on the fact of not sleeping, where we would get, you know, three to four hours of sleep per night, and then we'd, you know, be talking to our colleagues the next day, and we'd be bragging to each other, hey, look at me, I only slept four hours, and I've had six pots of coffee, but, uh, you know, but yeah, I listen, I slept the four hours, and I'm ready to go, yeah. and that's such a, it's really just a prescription for total illness, and the medical doctors just don't yeah. get it. And, you know, and obviously that's the, that's the purpose of why I've got you on my podcast today, because I want everyone to understand that there is the importance of sleep. And then of course, the best way to get that sleep and, and, and we'll get there. Uh, uh, Klaus, tell me, how did you get interested in the whole topic of sleep? And then eventually, of course, becoming a, uh, a, dis a distributor of the, you yeah. know, the finest mattress and sleep system on the planet? Yeah, yeah, good question. Uh, I was naturally a, a master cabinet maker, so I was surrounding myself building furniture from my very young years, 18 years old. I learned the trade to big, build furniture, home furnishings, uh, including bedroom furniture. So naturally, obviously, you know, I created beautiful pieces of furniture, including the bed frames where I had needed mattresses as well. But most likely, I purchased, uh, when I was 18 years old, a typical Japanese mattress, what was very popular in Germany at this time and this mattress already was metal free and this mattress always was organic so I always had in young years 
the feeling I need something surrounding me where I don't have off gassing and I never liked the idea to have metal springs in my bed. So I started off with a basic futon but did well for me for a couple of years. But then after working in woodwork and lifting a lot of heavy materials, including uh, myself, I was at this time a pretty good swimmer and I was training a lot in the pool and I was swimming with, you know, some very successful German swimmers. I was pre-qualified for the German team, didn't make it to the Olympics, but I was pretty much, you know, in my swimming career for a couple of years. I needed some additional spinal support, but my the previous mattress at this time did not provide me and this this leached me out to explore other choices in the German speaking market and this is how I found Samina and then naturally buying this pro product I understood how much better I feel and how much better my back was feeling and and I said you know what this is actually good fantastic mattress is all organic and my furniture are all organic so why I'm not showing this to my customers in my own showroom in my woodwork shop uh, what I had outside of Frankfurt and then in 1998 I decided to move to Canada and this was a starting point kind of for me to concentrate on Samina and say why I should not maybe introduce this bed in Samina as well and then I teamed up with a, a Swiss couple out of Toronto who actually started Samina a, a little bit earlier than me and then we met up over there and we starting our partnership and then in 2000 I took over the whole operation and um, and since then I became pretty much involved in sleep but I, I get so much more out of it to to you know to help people and talk about sleep and make them feel better and sleep better than building a piece of furniture so I actually found my true mission in life what I actually want to do the rest of my life and this is how I'm now with Samina today well I think that's really you know a fantastic uh, you know story and really obviously I've met you guys on so many occasions and you and Denise are really just salt of the earth people and I know that that is your passion I know that Obviously, we all make you know you know you, you, we all need to make money in order to uh, be able to you know live on planet Earth. But the, you know that you're so passionate about about the mission, about the importance of sleep, and getting your audience to to understand the importance of sleep. And not only from a time standpoint, our ancestors went to sleep with the sundown. They awoke with the sunrise. They were in a chemical free environment. And I know you're talking about all that as well. And Tell us about what is what is the problem with the conventional mattress? Why yeah. can't someone just walk into a mattress firm or Sleep America and get one of the mattresses off the showroom floor? What's the matter with that? Yeah, I think there's there's a couple of issues. First of all, um, when you walk in these conventional mattress stores, you get pretty much confused from the minute you enter the door while you have about 50 different mattresses in a huge space. So it's already confusing, you know, with so many choices. So this means technically the first mattress what I see is maybe good and the last one, mattress number 50, is the worst one. So I have a problem already with so many choices. Second of all, I think uh, when you talk to the salesperson there and really want to understand what are the contents of an existing mattress uh, from those brands, they're kind of not really telling you the entire ingredients. They have, they, they're using fancy labeling. They call it, you know, organic cotton even on top and they call it all these funky names. But when you really ask them the, the final question, can you really prove the contents of this material and can you really tell me what is inside of the mattress so I understand as a consumer what is I surround myself. I think there is a totally a lack of misinformation uh, and then of course you know don't even start talking about box spring mattresses they're full of metal springs and many people like you and other health practitioners understand you know the, the impact on the metal spring mattresses and cell phone frequencies how harmful they can be for human bodies so I think that the entire conventional mattress industry really also does not care about you as a consumer as a patient they're, all, they're more concerned about selling quantities and when you look at the lifespan of a conventional mattress it's anywhere between two and four years in the olden days, I'm, show, I'm for sure this was much higher, but now the lifespan of, a, of conventional mattresses goes down and down and down and down. And this shows me also they're very interested to sell mattresses over and over again and maybe want you to upgrade accordingly to your budget and do the pain, the pain threshold what you have to maybe buy next time a more expensive mattress. So I think the whole entire mattress 
shopping is kind of all over the place. Uh, we know by fact mattress shopping in this country is one of the second unpleasant activities. <laughs> but I think it's very astounding. And the worst one actually, and you will laugh with me, it's actually purchasing a car. And I don't understand this either. Then when I know it's time to buy another car and we briefly talked about the car purchase a second earlier, I'm looking forward for this day to buy another car while I know what I want, I know what I like, I saved to buy this car and I'm looking forward to get a brand new car. So I really don't understand why the consumption is there. People don't look forward to buy a mattress and especially when you know you maybe spend in this mattress more time than you spend time with your current girlfriend, a wife or spouse, then sometimes the mattress actually lasts longer than the previous marriage. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting because as you're talking about the mattress shopping experience and you're talking about walking into a conventional mattress store, I, my anxiety level automatically goes <laughs> up. I'm thinking about it. And then before you even said it, I'm thinking, wow, one worse thing than that could be when you go car shopping. Obviously, you're, you're from Germany. You're German. So uh, for you, the car experience is just like a religious experience, of course. Yeah. Uh, but the, um, uh, you know, just the whole idea of, once again, it's, it's just like the whole sales pitch of walking into whether it's a yeah. car dealership or to the mattress store. Yeah. And like you said, just so many mattress choices, and all of them are just lousy choices. And the yeah. beauty of, of Semenya is that, you know, you know, that you know, you're listening to me I'm a board certified cardiologist I got patients that are sleeping on this we know so many people that are you know that are that are sleeping on the Samina mattress and there's some heavy hitters uh, in the holistic health and well wellness space that are um, uh, you know you know that are that are you know once again sleeping on the Samina so the yeah. the the, tell me the importance of, you know, once again, is that, you know, you kind of addressed, obviously, you got the metal springs, and the metal springs are just like conductors for all the EMF and all the yeah. wireless activity, you know, that yeah. is around us, and that just radiates it right back into where we're sleeping so much of the time. You got the conventional mattress that's got the pesticides and the chemicals all over it, um, uh, you know, that are, that are meant to... Uh, you know, once again, the the flame retardants, all the yeah. different synthetic things. Tell me the tell me the components of a healthy mattress. What what, what are the components in that Samina healthy mattress? Yeah, so I mean that the components are very simple, straight from nature. So we, the top layer would be natural merino wool from a kind of sheep called merino. Uh, we have a huge amount of latex, natural latex. We call that the latex comes from Indonesia, from the rubber tree, but it's harvested under the talale process, and then the core of the bed actually is the wooden double wooden slats or this ash wood slats uh, embedded between natural rubber to give you the orthopedically spinal support what is so important to sleep and the last material would be still bare in, embedded in merino wool our grounding pad to really make sure we can look after the exposure of this very harmful electromagnetic fields including including the radio frequencies and of course you know our our top layer would be our comforter and deve what is poor merino wool and our pillows are a combination between merino wool and natural rubber as well so and then the beautiful thing with samina is Many sources buy similar materials and from original natural resources. The question is when you receive those natural materials, it's there any kind of alteration during the product, during the manufacturing process going on. And I, I find the findings so far very often when you're manufacturing in certain countries, there are certain guidelines. It looks like in Europe, in Europe, where Samina is made in Austria, the guidelines don't request to use any additional flame retardants and other byproduct to finish the mattress. While naturally speaking, all the raw components are already flame resistant. So this is the beautiful part on Samina. When you know you buy Samina bed, what was manufactured in Austria, we following the European laws, and there seems to me stricter than North American laws. And it's also it's always about money, you know. When when obviously products from Europe sometimes are more expensive than products in North America, and um, and this is a, a good point, of course. While there is the transportation costs and duty and import costs, but also labor costs and also uh, the integrity of the product. So I know for sure Samina spends a tons amount of money to buy the finest raw materials 
as possible to really deliver a long-term lasting product and Samina lasts for 20 years and when you want something to last for 20 years you have to really make sure your materials are good enough and of course the craftsmanship what is handmade in a mattress like this has to be efficient enough to hold up the use of 20 years here i have more the feeling in the united states is very instant gravitation i want something right now i want it very inexpensive and when i replace it next year i don't really care too much it was only thousand dollar worth anyway and any time you do something like this, this means to me you wasted a certain amount of nights in an inexpensive mattress with no health benefits and this is almost like filling up a second bank account with missing sleeping hours and missing sleep efficiency and you know there's two bank accounts there's the, the bank account with the money what we earn and the whole idea is when we turn 65 or whenever we decide to go to retirement to have enough exposable income to live a comfortable life till the last day of our life in the same time you have this bank account with the missing sleeping hours and this is where the pity part comes when you pile this up with too many missing sleep hours and sleep efficiency this can backfire pretty much heavily to the, on the point when you want to retire and you want to enjoy your retirement and we definitely see an increase in the customer group above 65 years what kind of stage those people are general health and and Jake you will confirm this mind you I'm sure you see a lot of patient in, in this age group as well and you have a better picture than even I do about the current health in regards of you know uh, overweight uh, heart diseases and other chronic diseases and the same is you know when you had 20 years of bad sleep this is not a good combination so I really address this now a lot of more to young people people who actually started started off now to build their own life to really pay attention on this matter and get more education and you really should understand as a consumer what is the contents of my mattress I cannot understand why people will take any answer of any online retailer of mattresses mind this is another problem now we have so many online mattresses coming up on the market where people don't go to a retail store anymore and they purchase this bed online while this is more convenient and I do understand this part but there is no really communication why actually you want to buy a mattress no one can ask you there why are you buying a mattress do you have trouble sleeping in the past how we can help you to make you sleep better and and, and this is the nice thing with Samina what we do we do a lot of trade shows to show the product but we also do a lot of consultation over the phone on daily basis to really educate you a why sleep is important and but why you want to buy a mattress tell me a little bit more about you why you're looking today for a mattress and so I can understand where you're coming from and then I can make the connection to the problems with your sleep pattern and your sleep environment how Samina can really help you mm -hmm. you know it's uh and it's you know going back to the car analogy it's that people do so much research on their car <laughs> yeah. and then they test drive all these different cars and then they spend 30,000, 60,000, 160,000, whatever it is on that car. Yet, how much yeah. time do you spend in your car versus how much time are you supposed to be sleeping in your bed? And what they will do is they will drive a $100,000 car and they will be sleeping on a $1,000 mattress. It's yeah. absolute lunacy. But the medical doctors are not talking about this. But of course, I talk about it with my patients. Mm. I tell my patients how important it is. And my patients see the results when they sleep on the Samina sleep system. It's just, do I think that's, that sleeping on the quality mattress system like this is, does it do wonders for your blood pressure, for your inflammation, from your oxidative stress to, uh, you know, once again, heart function, anxiety, stress, depression. It all plays in together because sleep is so critically important so i would of course encourage people uh tell me klaus is the best thing to do for people without sounding too salesy here from my standpoint to get people over to samina it seems to me like the best thing is to fly out to the showroom in pasadena california right i mean you're going to make this purchase you're going to be spending the next 20 plus years on this mattress system you're going to spend 
uh, over 10 grand, 15 grand, in some cases, $20,000 on the Semina sleep system. It seems yeah. to, to me they need to fly out to Pasadena. Tell yeah, me. Yeah, it's a good point. And actually, we have a handful of people doing this, and we have some incentive to do this. So obviously, you know, we have this limitation with one showroom. And when people really make the trip and they purchase a, a bed after the visit or during the visit, they really get a credit for some of the travel expenses. While this is still for us better than open up retail stores across the United States uh, and having a brick and mortar store with all the overhead. So I definitely encourage everybody to do so. But you will be surprised as well, uh, Jake, as how many people will buy this bed without even trying the bed. The reason is we do have very sophisticated literature on the homepage. We have a lot of very good videos on the homepage. And we do have a lot of people like you in the integrated and functional medicine world who are Samina sleeper and talk about Samina already for so many years. So we are able to build up a very high amount of credibility for my brand and for the Samina system. And when you a little bit look deeper and you start digging in why Samina is so different, people will very easily recognize how smart the system is and how much benefits you might really get from it. And believe me, most of our sales are to very sick people who are coming already, to, you know, with major issues and 50% of them are normal consumers. They're kind of, you know, in younger years, they, we call them the biohackers. It's more like the, the customer group from Dave Asprey and all the people who want to be staying healthy and never really got sick from the beginning. They want to optimize everything what they can do to live a better, longer life. Uh, so we see those two customers group, and especially talking from our sick patients, and they sometimes cannot travel far anymore, and they don't, you know, have the energy and time. All right, so uh, sorry about that, uh, Klaus. I lost you there, and uh, you know what we were talking about was that do people really need to come to the showroom? And it sounds like obviously that in some situations it may be beneficial, but a lot of times, listen, you're taking my word for it, Dr. Jack Wolfson. Uh, Klaus Poomer, who's been all over the world and has, and has, has taught mattresses and healthy sleep for over 20 years. We're seeing the results. We're seeing the results with our patients. So, yeah. uh, you know, but I mean, but listen, obviously at the same point, it is a big purchase. And for those of you that are kind of on the fence and don't know where to go, well, that may be the best answer is to fly out and obviously you learn from the best in Klaus and Denise. Yeah, yeah, no, no, that's always a good idea. I mean, when you come to the showroom, we definitely designate in the day for, for you to really show you Samina. We talk about a lot about, you know, why you need a bed, why sleep is important. I do a lot of pre-education to really give more awareness. Well, you know, people are, people are in the stage very often that they don't want to go to bed at all while they had so many bad experience for so many years. So yeah, the more anxiety you have, that's the worst your sleep will be from the beginning when you drag yourself to go to bed. So I really want to bring awareness why, you know, you should go to a certain time to bed. You almost need an alarm clock to set yourself to go to bed. You don't need really an alarm clock to wake up. Um, that's also one of my, you know, common vision, what I have. So with, with, with understanding why sleep is important, with feeling and touching Samina, obviously you're definitely more comfortable to spend a certain amount of money. And you're right, you spend anywhere between $10,000 for a queen size bed for a basic sleep system, including, you know, a king size bed is runs for $13,000. But when you do accessories like grounding pads, uh, pillows, comforter, and maybe one of our inclined bed frames, uh, then you spend almost $20,000. Is this at the end of the world to a car purchase? I don't think it's the end of the world. You know, a car purchase for $20,000 is easily done and you drive your car for four to five years. Samina will last you for 20 years. So you can make the math how much this bed costs you per day. And this is the funny part. Our, st our daily spending habits are so all over the map. When you go to get your Starbucks coffee or any other coffee, a daily routine, what is so common for us, you spend everywhere between three bucks and five bucks. And this is more money than what the Samina bed would cost you. You know, the, on, the only difference, of course, you know, with Samina, you have to come up with the money up front with a cup of coffee. You always have $4 cash in your pocket to do so. But on the end of the day, after 10, 20 years, you spend thirty-six, thirty-eight thousand dollars for coffee and you still sleep on a thousand dollar mattress and you don't get a lot of benefits. And this is where the whole misconception is. I think, you know, the mattress industry was dragging themselves to be inexpensive. 
uh, not you know free interest financing solutions for 48 months and 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 this is how we used to it but this is not the norm either it's 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 not the norm and then we have those other extremes there is a handful of luxury bedding brands out in the world like uh, uh, Daxiana Hastings or Weiss Springs, those are considered luxury beds and they're handmade in Sweden or England and they cost anywhere between $15,000 starting price all the way up to $45,000 and some of the models they offer are above $100,000 for a mattress and then you still have to ask yourself what, is, uh, what are the benefits for me and when you look at the components and the raw materials and how the system is created then I don't see a lot of benefits either. With Samina, it's, it's, it's so unique, while the owner of Samina, who was a professor and, and, and doctor, he, he, he designed Samina for the four different layers of a human body. So scientifically speaking, the Samina bed makes so much more sense while we cover all the aspect of good night sleep. So starting orthopedically with proper spinal support, we, we addressing the issue with your joints, tissue and muscles, we talking about our bioelectrical system, what will be the impact with the grounding pad, and we talking about our biggest organ, our skin for temperature control and moisture regulating. So in in, in this part, Samina stands out already. To well, any I think other. you bring up obviously so many different points. We need an alarm clock to go to sleep. Well, the alarm clock, as you and I both know, of course, is when the sun goes down. That's yes. the alarm clock. That's the reminder to go to sleep. The chickens don't need the reminder. The deer out in the wild don't need the reminder. Nature has the reminder and that's when the sun goes down and that's yeah. what we need to do. And when you do so, you're right, you don't need an alarm clock. I, aside from when I travel, and I know you guys are the same way when you travel all yeah. over, that's the only time we ever need an alarm clock is when we're traveling, yeah. which is unnatural, but obviously it's, it's something that we need to do. So, yeah. and then you bring up the point is uh, about the price of your typical coffee in the morning is yeah three five seven dollars and what you know and all the other vices that people have because they're not getting the sleep they should they need these quickie uppers uh you know, in order to you know, make their day go yet you know if you do the math and you say well the samina sleep system for the life of the system probably costs you like two bucks a day or under you know without yeah. doing the actual i mean that, that's probably what we're talking about two dollars to sleep on the world's greatest healthiest mattress and I hate to sound like a shill over here, but it's just it's just a reality. It's so important to do that. Yeah. Plus, you mentioned earlier, you talked about silver. Where does silver come in with the uh, Samina sleep system and why? Yeah, yeah. so the silver is in, embedded in our grounding pad, what is one of the layer of a Samina system. And the reason why we're using silver, silver is approximately a 10,000 times better conductor to EMF, electromagnetic fields and radio frequencies than any other materials and the human body. When you naturally go to your bed right now, whatever brand you have, either box spring bed or foam mattress, the human body is 80% of liquid moisture and highly attractive to those free frequencies and with not having the attachment to a grounding pad you actually uh, will interfere with your cells and your immune system and what's happened is the EMF and the radio frequency are triggering the red blood cells and they glue them together and you're losing oxygenation and this is what? where okay and is there is there silver in the comforter as well as the comforter impregnated or is that an option no, no, there's no need for it. Then it's it's only on our grounding pad. What is right under the wool topper? And again, the grounding pad contains about 75% of pure silver of the entire length of your side of your bed and then and half of the bed. So we're talking about per person. And with this huge amount of silver under you, the material is it's about 10,000 times better conductive than the human body. And through a little cable, what is attached to the outlet, and um, when you purchase this, you will plug it in your outlet, but it's not attached to any kind of electricity. It's only connected to the ground pin of your outlet. And when you purchase a Samina Locosana grounding pad, you will receive a little ground test there to make sure your house is probably grounded. And 99.9% .9 of homes in this country are probably grounded. Um, so we we testing this beforehand, and you can plug it in your outlet, and this really gives the EMF 
and the radio frequency is a pathway to go away from you. There is unfortunately a very huge misconception about grounding out in the internet as well. A lot of people think grounding does not work uh, and saying bad things about it unfortunately is also incorrect. Uh, my dear friend Dr. Stefan Sinatra and Clint Ober who also have a grounding technique developed a similar time, time frame like Samina did. They're actually complementing our product and saw the benefits as well. And they wished for, you know, they found a mattress company to involving grounding. Then grounding definitely is one very important feature, especially now with thinking uh, they're rolling out 5G Wi-Fi signals in our neighborhoods and we get actually bombarded with 5G and 5G stands for 5 billion hertz and the human body runs on the Schumann frequency or the 6.7 hertz so there's this huge disconnecting you know numbers between the, this huge reading and the low reading of the natural human body and of course you know you see it in your daily work as well this creates a bunch of problem and and what this really does this leads to human inflammation and human inflammation can be a start of a chronic disease so grounding is definitely an important feature I, I think you know when you make the switch from a on metal from the metal mattress to a, a foam mattress this is already a big improvement then anytime you get rid of your metal springs with the little antennas you definitely can lower the impact for yourself so this is uh, first uh, my first advice uh, when you turn off your cell phone and your Wi-Fi router and maybe you go to the panel box and turn off the breaker to the bedroom but you know all these three things are for free you only have to be consistent and you have to be willing to do it you definitely can make a big improvement for your sleep room and for your own sleep efficiency and and this is really the truth when I do home consultation in Los Angeles area or when we travel somewhere and we make booking appointments my findings are always the same the worst polluters are the consumers Consumers living in their homes while they don't think about too much about it so I cannot understand why you want to keep your cell phone on uh, all night long and disturb you during sleep when you can put it at least on airplane mode to disable the free transmitters and you still have an alarm clock and then of course you know that the answer is always the same yeah when I need my phone for emergency calls and then I tell the consumers you know what there's still something exists like a landline um, for seven dollar a month and in my case here in Los Angeles our landline was for free while I signed up for internet and TV then I have a landline for free and I have an old-fashioned telephone and when someone has to reach me they can call my home phone number and they don't have to call my cell phone number so you know the pe people are lazy so again you when you're a little bit more it's like brushing your teeth you know you should go to bed to brush your teeth and maybe rinse your teeth and use a water brush it's daily routine when we wake up we do it when we go to bed we should do it it's the same thing with all these electronics you can be more more strict with yourself and especially with the kids in your household to to turn off those devices then i don't see the need for those devices especially under the consideration i when you maybe understand how harmful they are and, and to find out how harmful they are, there is actually two, two tests. Um, one test would be a dark field microscopy. Uh, what is a very old test where, where a professional health practitioner withdraws some of your blood and it looks under the microscope and you can really see how red blood cells are, should be floating side by side. And the self-study would be the, this a very simple question, do you dream? Uh, our findings are showing people who purchased either a Samina bed with the grounding pad or the grounding pad without the Samina bed, they all had huge improvements in the way how they dream and the consistency of dreams. Yeah, there's no doubt that obviously the more people dream, the more healthy you are. But uh, you know, and also to summarize kind of what you just said as far as the th you know the three things that we need to do. Uh, number one, get the cell phone out of your bedroom, put it on airplane mode. I don't know who you are as far as like emergencies, uh, you know, what kind of you know career or is you know family or something like that. Why you need to be on call 24/7? I know I did as a cardiologist. I don't know why you do, and if you do, like Klaus just said, get a landline. Number two, turn off the Wi-Fi at night. There's no reason to have the Wi-Fi. Just go over to the router and just go bink and press it, and and it's off. You know, Klaus, one of the things that we saw a few uh, years ago, we were interviewing a patient, my wife and I, 
And we asked her where the Wi-Fi router was, and can she turn it off? And she said, I don't even know what the Wi-Fi router is, but uh, I'll go home and I'll ask my husband. So she goes home and she asks her husband, and they find the Wi-Fi router. And where was it? It was under the baby's crib. And she sent a picture of where it was, and they were just absolutely mortified. So turn off yeah, the Wi-Fi router. And then, of course, the third thing, if you're extremely sensitive, but even if this is definitely best practice, is yeah. turn off the you know the the fuse to the bedroom and and get that going uh and that's and that's a little maybe a little more extreme you know because then of course you got to go outside and you got to find yeah. the you know the, the the circuit breaker you know that and turn it off and that's a little more extreme but the first two are super super simple and uh, actually also yeah, also for the breaker to interrupt you quick, you can actually call an electrician and get a remote switch for the breaker. It's a $500 investment where you don't have to walk physically to the panel box and you can disable the breaker. It makes this, it makes, does this make sense in the rental for one year? No, but when you rent a home and you stay longer than two, three, four years, I think the investment is worth. When you own your house, it is a no-brainer to make this additional investment with a switch-off breaker in the panel box to really have the conveniency to lie in bed, press the little remote, turn off the power breaker to the bedroom and switch it on in the morning or during the night doing emergency when you need some light somehow. So it's easy. That is tremendous information. I love that. That's a great, great tip. Thank you, Klaus. Um, ladies and gentlemen, Klaus Pumer from Semina Sleep System. Klaus, how do people find you? And of course, when you call up Klaus, you get onto the website, you tell them that uh, the doctors Wolfson sent you, Jack Wolfson sent you, and Klaus, my buddy, and his beautiful bride. The brains of the operation, Denise, yes. will take care of you. How do, I, how do people find you, Klaus? Yeah, so there's three simple ways. Of course, you know, I like the personal relationship to people, to my potential customers, and I really want to learn a lot about you. So give me, a, give us a call at a toll-free number, what would be 877 877-494-1091. Again, it's 877-494-1091. Second option, obviously, you shoot us an email to sleep at samina.com. It's S-A-M-I-N-A.com. And last but not least, um, go to our homepage, uh, justhealthysleep.com and uh, educate, re-educate yourself a bit, you know, why the sleep system is so different than others. Uh, watch some of the videos, listen to some of the additional podcasts and really go to the homepage to get a basic understanding, you know, how the Samina system looks and uh, and then you have a better understanding why you should spend this kind of money. And again, I, I, this kind of purchase is a very important purchase. I strongly also recommend to get your spouse involved. It's a couple purchase. Uh, I don't expect anyone to make this purchase without their loved ones. Uh, when there's two people sleeping in the same bed, there should be a decision made by both parties to really be on the same page. Uh, you know, one of the things that is astounding is, 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 is when you start dating, we're spending a lot of time in investment to meet a support our future partner you know we go to nice restaurants we dress up nicely we prepare ourselves and you talk about it to learn about the the future person how you want to spend the rest of your life and a similar idea I, I want to encourage to do with the mattress when you buy something what can last up to 20 years I really truly want you to understand why you why I'm doing this and what is in for me and what are my health benefits and this is all about health you know, we don't really talk about much about the feature of our beds. We talk more about the health benefits. What the, what are the benefits for you? That's only what matters for me, for the entire Samina team, for everyone who, who is involved in Samina, what is in for you. And when you understand what is in for me, then you can understand the value, what you receive with giving us a value on a certain amount of money. And yeah, no, and, and you know, also, and obviously, yeah, Heather and I sleep on the Salmina sleep system, and of course, we got a baby in between us. But what happens, you know, is that you know we've got the king size system, and it comes with two separate pads. So, so, and, and then under that are going to be the slats, and the slats can one can be more firm, one can be uh, a, a little bit softer. You can dial it in, and I think also with the new sleep system, right, you can also get some some uh, elevation of the bed as well. Yeah, yeah, we do have an incline bed frame, so you can sleep anywhere from zero degrees to three degrees and 5.5 degrees. It's the incline gravity sleep. It's an old technique uh, developed thousands of years ago. Our ancestor had some natural instinct, and uh, also our animals kingdom does it till today. So it's not really uh, something what is unique, but Samina, we developed this concept where 
you are able to do this very simple in a very nice way instead of using two brick stones. But of course, you know, it would be the inexpensive solution. You can put two, six inches of books or brick stones under your existing bed and get some additional benefits of the incline therapy. But it, this doesn't really work very well when your mattress is uh, full of chemicals, petroleum and fire retardants or full of metal springs. So it's, it's, it's not the, all the way down. With Samina, you, do, you really do it all the way you do it one way, what is the right way, you're not making no shortcuts, no compromises, then it, to shortcut with this subject sleep, it's, 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 it's too vulnerable. We, you cannot afford to have a crabby night of sleep, we cannot afford to be sleep deprived, and we cannot afford uh, to get any exposure of any kind of chemicals either. All right, so let me ask you this, Klaus and Denise, are you guys uh, back sleepers, stomach sleepers, side sleepers? What, yeah, yeah. What, tell, tell me the inside scoop of the Pumer bedroom. What's going on there? Yeah, yeah. So mainly back sleeping, of course, while Samina is so supportive to your natural S-shape curve. And as you said, Jake, already the mattress is divided underneath with these two layers of wooden slats with natural rubber between what contours to your spine, matching to your own body weight and to own your own body height and your own body shape. And especially when we talk about couples, you know, female and male couples, there is substantial weight difference sometimes and a height difference and shape difference so uh, this is really beautiful so we both start off with sleeping on our backs and then during the night especially in the morning hours anywhere between I would say 5 o'clock and 6.30, you're kind of doing a little bit of body movements while you very often have your dream in this time frame. And then I cut, cut myself to sleep on the side, uh, left or right side, same with the knees. And then you kind of, you know, finish the night like this. So it's, it's the human body moves during the night time about 70 times, what will be extremely a low amount of movements, what is healthy. A lot of customers, uh, they actually move two, three, four hundred times during the night, what we, it seems very exhausting to us. And of course, you totally compromise the sleep efficiency with this body movement. And this either comes from a non-supportive mattress or f comes from too much exposure with temperature and heat uh, and, and maybe discomfort in regards of you know briefing and stuff we ha we have a big problem we have we have to deal with dust mites in bed and anytime you have those creatures in your bed you kind of get a stiffy nose and you're too hot and too, too cold nothing can really breathe you put your feet out of the dv cover and you stop turning and pulling the dv away from your spouses it's it's a totally compromised sleep environment no doubt. Uh, fantastic information. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Klaus Pumer from the Samina Sleep System. Uh, I'll make sure all of his contact information is in the show notes. It'll be on the blog. And just a tremendous wealth of info is always so important. A third of your life on your mattress and you're sleeping on some toxic piece of garbage. This is what you got to do as part of the way to reclaim your health and get your best health going forward. Klaus, say hello to Denise. I will. I will catch you guys at uh, sometime, hopefully soon. That sounds good to me. Thank you for having me on your show. Appreciate it. You got it, my friend. Until next time, this is Dr. Jack Wolfson, another episode of the Healthy Heart Show.